of me wishes I was the kind of girl who could just pack up her passport and a tube of chapstick and just take off and explore the world on our own. But that's pretty hard for me, mostly because I have zero sense of direction. But last year, I was feeling pretty lost in my career and my relationship, and so I threw caution to the wind and I traveled to the Sacred Valley in Peru. And when I got there, I met up with a yoga group, which I know is a little bit cliched, but we stayed at this beautiful retreat center and they had these little cabins and these gorgeous views and they had these two really cute brown mutts that would follow us around. Sometimes I would let them sleep in my room at night, which we were not allowed to do, but they were adorable, so how could I resist them? And so on my third day, I decided to take a solo hike out to a nearby waterfall. So I packed up my Lululemon backpack with all of these essentials, water bottle, journal, iPhone, and I headed out the open driveway gates. And as I was hiking, I remembered how easily I get lost. So I pulled out my iPhone and I started taking pictures of landmarks to help me on my way back. An abandoned silver house, click, a uh, broken gate, thumb to the left, click, a uh, blue window pane, thumb to the right, click, foolproof. So I make it to the waterfall and it is so beautiful. And I am standing there just enjoying the silence and the solitude. Then old habits kicked in like a real American. I pulled out my iPhone, propped it up on a rock, hit the camera, flipped the lens, hit the timer, ran up, posed in front of this waterfall to capture this candid moment in nature. Ran back down, checked the shot, could be better. Hit the camera, hit the lens, hit the timer, ran back up, posed. And I do this over and over and over and over. I'm not proud. And then from behind me, I see this movement in the brush. And I realize that there's a man that's been there just watching me. I don't know how long he's been there, but I am suddenly torn between my extreme discomfort at unknowingly being alone with a strange man in the wilderness of Peru and my humiliation that he has just watched me take like 20 selfies, like a totally cliched American tourist. So I decide to get out of there. I throw everything back in my bag, my water bottle, journal, iPhone, and I head off at a sprint down that path. And I mean, I am running, but I'm playing it off as a casual jog, just listening with one ear in case he's chasing me. And eventually I slow. And I realize I'm pretty lost. So I, I pull out my iPhone and I look at the marker pics, the blue window pane, thumb to the right, the broken gate, thumb to the left, the abandoned silver house, my last photo. And I'm standing there looking at this fork in the road and I don't know where to go. And I don't see the driveway gates and these dogs are running around and I kind of pet them distractedly and I decide to just head to the left. 20 minutes passes, nothing looks familiar. So I turn around and I head to the right. 40 minutes passes. I see this young couple and I, I try to ask them in Spanish, do you know where the retreat center is? But they don't understand what I'm saying and they just keep walking. I'm alone. An hour passes and up ahead I see these three men talking amongst themselves in Spanish and they're walking towards me and as they pass me they sort of split and kind of encircle me and I give them very fierce nods and I just keep marching and I'm suddenly totally aware of what I look like in my yoga pants and my backpack and my iPhone and I couldn't scream lost female tourist anymore if I tried and I look at my phone and no service and now I am panicking so I just jump to the side and tuck myself on into some greenery and I don't know how I got here and I don't know how I could be so lost and I don't know what I'm supposed to do and I just Take a deep breath and you know, being lost in Peru for a while was kind of a fun adventure, but now it's getting dark and it's raining and if I really get lost in the mountainside of Peru forever, my mother is never going to forgive me, so I just take another deep breath. And I tell myself, Katie, you're okay. You can do this. So I step back out on the road and I'm feeling so disoriented and I don't know where to go. And it's raining really hard and I don't see the driveway gates anywhere and the, the dogs are back, they're splashing in the puddles and I'm, I'm, I'm petting them distractedly and I suddenly look at the dogs really for the first time and I realize they're the same cute brown mutts that I let sleep in my room at night. So if they're here, then the retreat center has to be here too. So I really mm. look around and the rain's pouring down and I realize that the driveway gates are right in front of me right next to the abandoned silver house. Now they're closed now, they're not open like they were when I left. But next to the gates is this little walkway and I see the dogs scurry in and I follow them. And I realize that even as I was feeling so lost, I was exactly where I needed to be the entire time. Hi, I'm Josh, the director and animator of Storylines. 
Click here for the next story, here for a playlist of all the episodes, and here to subscribe to our channel. And that's it. That's all the buttons. Have fun clicking. Thanks for watching.